All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally here to do what you've been begging for for months. The Binding of Isaac YouTuber tier list. As you can see, I gathered some fan favorite Isaac content creators from the community. And I'm going to rank them amongst who are the best and who make mid content. I'm just fucking around, of course. <laughs> Everyone has different preferences on what they like or not. And from what I've seen from my comments, some people absolutely fucking despise me. So let me just give you my opinion of who I think is the best of the best. Best. There's gonna be some absolute hot takes today. Tears are gonna be shed and buildings are gonna crumble. Are you guys ready? Let's get into it. First, we got Albino. I absolutely adore his content. He is one funny motherfucker. But it's not something that I'll watch daily, you know? But it's something I really enjoy when I watch it. I don't really watch too many Isaac YouTubers these days because I feel like uh, most Isaac YouTubers... They kind of do the same thing now. But if I bet, if I hop in an albino video, that shit's going to be hilarious. I'm going to give him an easy... Mm, yeah, he deserves to be in the A tier. Next, we got BD1P. Now, listen, I'm a big fan of his main channel where he does, like, speedruns and other type of cool shit. But his Isaac videos, I can't really get into, in my opinion. It's not his fault. He's an entertaining dude. It's just when I see, like, 30 minutes plus on a YouTube video, I just get... <laughs> I'm just like... Well, that's kind of my fault because I kind of got a short attendance span, which is even getting worse for all the reels and TikToks and shit. Ha if I had to, um, yeah, you're, you belong in beer, my man. Next, we got Gorange. I like Gorange's videos. He has like a nice chill vibe to it. I can imagine myself sitting in a campfire, turning Both off the TV and pass. watching some Gorange. His edits are pretty good in the channel too. At least his channel is more original than the what everyone else is doing nowadays, you know? Which is what I'll get into later. I think that's gonna be my hottest take of the video but for Gorange I just I love watching his videos no I'm not gonna lie it's just like such a amazing vibe watching him um should I uh, I'm gonna have to give him a A now you know my answer for HUD it's gonna be a literal crime if I don't give him S tier right now man I absolutely love this man I basically grew up in this man I watched him since I was in middle school and now I'm in college still watching him that's just so crazy to me man I recently saw a video of him saying that YouTube's not paying for him and that absolutely sucks ass it's really sad to see YouTube do him dirty like that anyways back to his content he's still making original content and it's still fucking funny to this day and his editor is absolutely Absolutely goddamn amazing. Easy S tier for him. Now we got Isaac Guru. There's not much to be said about this guy. He just makes some informational content. It's still amazing to watch, and I get a lot of information from watching him, but he's not like GOAT tier, in my opinion, you know? I'm gonna put him at. Uh, I can't do him like that. I'm gonna hit him with a B. Next. Oh, shit. We're getting in the controversial territory, aren't we? <laughs> um. <laughs> Do you, do you guys know who this guy was? <laughs> Even back then, I wasn't a big fan of this man's content. And he was a little bit of an asshole. Made a lot of controversy. So I'm gonna have to put him at the... Oh, what the, what the fuck is going off my... What the fuck is going off my mouse? What the hell? <laughs> I really hope I don't have to add anyone to this tier. Yikes. Whoa. We're gonna get some controversial shit going on, boys. This is my hottest take, and I think people are gonna be mad at me for it. I am not the biggest fan of Levan Levankas. I think it's what it's called. Levankas? I think she started this trend where, like, every Isaac YouTuber basically makes broken run videos. And I'm not gonna lie, I it was fun watching her content for, like, two videos, but, like, but after, like, the third one, I'm like... Eh, I'm done. Uh, there's not much to be seen anymore. <laughs> and that goes for every every other creator that does that type of content. Remember, this is my personal opinion. I just don't like watching those type of videos. I'm not going to shun you for liking something that I don't. Let me add a new bracket for these type of content creators. There we go. Oh, let me not put that un under the pedo tier. Oh, hell no. <laughs> All right, sit on your throne there. Next, we got Lazy Matt, man. This one's a kind of weird one for me. I used to make different, a different style 
style of content i enjoyed that but then he moved to the broken run videos well at least his broken run videos are more entertaining you know in my personal opinion if i had to watch a broken one youtuber i'd had to watch lazy man man just because i used to really love his old content i'm gonna hit him with the c tier right now next we got lonzo which is a youtuber i actually recently discovered and oh man am i so glad that i discovered him if i had to put a second place for my favorite isaac youtuber i definitely put this guy my favorite are the co-op is just so damn funny but i'm not sure if i can put him in the s tier just yet i haven't watched enough content so for now until i watch more content i'm gonna hit him with the a tier next up is magical eye which is uh is a youtuber that posts isaac just normal isaac runs nothing too crazy but right now i think magical eye is one of the best binding of isaac players right now so i'm a little conflicted what should i give them this was the binding of isaac channel so i'm gonna have to give it a c tier now we got mr binding of isaac himself the man the myth the legend that has over a thousand videos in this game alone <laughs> to be honest it would be <laughs> It would be disrespectful to not give him S tier right now. Like, come on. When you think Binding of Isaac, this is like the first name you should think of. I don't watch many of his videos anymore, but I still have huge respect for him. Next, we got Nia and Tuber. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm so glad I made this whole tier just for the Broken Run YouTubers. Next, we got Slay, another informational goat. Not much else can be really said about him. Just does really good informational content in mod showcases. So, I say he fits right next to Isaac Guru. They're basically the same person. Now, now we have the goal right here. We see I've had a lot of respect for editing people, man. The amount of patience that you have to have to create edits as crazy as he does, man. I cannot do that. I'm sorry. Every single time time i watch the video i'm just like damn that took a while to do <laughs> and the videos are really entertaining i i enjoy his content so i'm gonna have to put him at a tier next we have the most despicable piece of shit youtuber to ever grace the internet this one youtuber has caused pain and anguish across his entire time active in the internet he is so fucking terrible i'm about to make a whole new tier just for him i'm sorry i cannot i cannot put this guy in the tier above anything else he is the absolute worst of the worst and i'm disgusted to have him in my tier list